What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jacob, and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make uh, dark sound and samples and then turn them into beats. You know what I'm saying? So, first thing we're gonna go through is I'm just gonna play the beat off y'all, and then I'm gonna go ahead and break down the sample and then break down the drums. Alright, let's get right into it. <laughs> Alright, so that's the beat for y'all, and right now I'm gonna break down the sample, so I'll just do like this, and so I'll play the sample for y'all, and then I'll break it down. Alright, so first thing we have here is the piano. super fire super dark so this is what it's in right here it's in contact it's called beyond pure preset all right so i'll delete it and then make it remake the pattern for you all show you how i did it the first thing i did was i started off with these and then i was i started off like this but i didn't really like it so i just brought the b up the root note and then i brought it down and i just copied it over so then i started taking out this and just strumming it almost so then i had to switch it up so i made these type of adjustments like these little half notes so half steps and then up top i have and it's just like do you see these dark dark half steps almost And all I did was copy it over, and that's the whole thing. And then there, there is nothing in this except for a EQ just to cut out all the lows, and I did that for most of the most of the loop. This is the next sound. Super simple. As you can see, all it is is just working within the scale, and it's like this is just you know the simplest stuff starts on the root notes and then just goes down and then half steps right here half steps right here and then on this one all i did was i hit all r and then i brought the velocity sounds so it's kind of fading out and then i put on pan man i'm pretty sure yeah pan man and reverb and then so to the next we have this almost like choir sound This is out of Artillery by um, Max Shooter. And then this is out of, I think Artillery as well, but Max Shooter, but can not find it. The, uh, the lead. The next is the violins. The violins are out of Spitfire Solo Violin. That's inside of Contact. I had to render them out because my computer was glitching when I tried to record the video. But this is what it sounds like. So right here, this is just a chord. Like this is literally the same chord that we have. It's a B. And then all I had, instead of having like, like I said, I have the full chord. I just did like the other one. I had it like this. And then I faded it up. And then these little stabs up top. And then on these, how I do it is I, whenever I start it, like right here. Like I, I want it to be right here. But the violin, Spitfire solo violin is super weird. So it's like delayed almost. So like I had to move everything ahead. And then on this one, it's the same thing. Except I just have these top notes doing different stuff and then also as well as these bottom notes are fading in like you can see you right here they're kind of fading in and they hit alt r on them so and then it's just as well as staying staying in the scale keeping in these half steps that are dark almost and 
I rendered that out it's right here and the effects on that was effect rack the channel uh, strip one for delay right there and then reverb and all I'm doing with the reverb is just turn down the mix and a little bit of the decay and then taking up the low cut so the next thing I have is this right here this is really a really good texture I'm not gonna lie to you So this is the one shot right here. So all I'll do is just pitched it up and then threw it in right here and put on portal, which the portal is space time. I don't know what bank it's from. And so the next thing that was really just a texture that I used to add some more depth on this to it. And then I add another texture. All that's on that is uh, EQ. And then on the texture right here, I just put it uh, an envelope on it so that when I cut it off, it don't keep going. And then I had the base. Just a normal base. Just a normal base right here. You can see. You can see right here. This is what it looks like. Out of uh, out of analog lab, and it goes an artillery to the sauce base. So. That's the sample, super simple sample. And now to the drums. So I knew that I wanted, I could just hear the grimy almost 808 in my head. So I went and looked through 808s and I found this one. So on this one, so I'll show y'all. This is uh i put on the, the envelope like that hold all the way up everything down so that i could mess with the notes and have them, have, uh, have them cut off when i needed to so when i did that i already knew like that was too much like that was there for too long so i just shortened it a little bit single right here and then on this one just kept it all the way and then I, and, um i start off with the super the super basic pattern that starts. This is what it sounds like when I made it. And I just copied it over. And then so, but I, then I had to add fills, of course. So, right here, this is a super simple one that y'all can do. And it's just half steps up here. Fire, and then it goes up right here. And there's nothing on this one. So then on this, I started off like with, with this and this. And then I had it like this at first. But then I just pitched it up an octave. And so then all I did was I threw it on one third step on these and just messed with the rolls. Oh, and right here, I added something so that it kind of rolled up into it. Next, we have this right here, this hi-hat. So that is just, I mean, y'all can see how I did that, just threw it on third step, and or... Yeah, I threw it on four step and then mess with those and then just the velocity and then I added just the sauce right here the hi-hat loop from Trapperies. I stretched it to fit on time and this is what it sounds like with hi-hat. And then on and then on the um on the hook I had it like this where it was cutting out. Cut out all the highs. And then I could add my main hi-hat, which is my main hi-hat right here.
super simple. All I did was just throw it on one fourth and just went and mess around with the rolls and stuff. And I mean, if you really want to, you can drag it out and hit Alt U. I would come down here and do it like this, do like Alt U, and then it it's Alt U. Yeah, and then you change like the timing of it. So then you just have it like this. But like, I never wanted to do that. I just go and did individually do it. You can also go to the painting tool, do it like that. Then um, we have a hat. Uh, we'll have a clap in here. This is the Kenny clap, Kenny snare clap from Major Kit. Uh, how I do my orders usually, it's either I do the 808 first, the 808 last. The 808, I either hear it in my head and I'm like, that's the bounce right there, or I don't hear it in my head and I'm like, yeah, no. So right now, this is what I have going into the hook. Then I added a snare, or I added a, um, an abai hat first. That is a, almost like a uh, Sacramento type of open hi hat. It fits really well with the 808. So it's just like an open, quick hi hat. And then I added a, a, a rack snare. So this is what it sounds like with everything right now so then i added in this hi-hat the reverse hi-hat and then this also hi-hat ish it's more like a laser so this is what all the drums sound like together. And then this is the this is the hook. And then I went like this and added an automation clip. And then I did that as well for this. And at the end, I did it as well. Thank you for watching the video. Like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Um, I have a Patreon now, link in the description, go to the Patreon, please, we need, we need some people over there, and you get all the FLPs, um, I forget what's all in it, but there's a lot in it, it's like, for $10 a month, there's like $5 a month to get all the FLPs and loops too, and then, for, I think it was like $10 a month, you get a lot more, so, thank y'all for watching the video, like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, DM me, Comment what y'all want to see next. And as always, thanks for watching. Peace.